Hi, I am Önev Döşer, a traditional astrologer from Istanbul, Turkey, founder of Astro School of Astrology and leading it since 2005. In this video, I will be speaking about astrology as a divine knowledge and art of prediction. Special thanks to Nadia Shah inviting me for doing this video. Before I start, I want to introduce you the event we are organizing in Shishim, Mexico with my colleagues, including Nadia Shah. Evolutionary astrologer Maurice Fernandez, shamanic astrologer Gemini Brett, and as a traditional astrologer myself, special guest speakers Ursula Stokter and Nadia Shah will be presenting workshops and seminars, and this event will start on January 29, will end on February 5, 2019. We will do ceremonies to honor planetary alignments, including an alignment of three lights, Jupiter, Venus, and the Moon. We will visit the Axmal Pyramid under the ceremonial guidance of Mayan Shaman. We will do Kundalini Yoga sessions, night skies guidance, we will re relax and have time in the beach as well. For more information, please visit morrisfernandez.com. Astrology is an art or science of judgment, reason, and mathematics. Wise men who were experted in judicial astrology were the ones who found out algebra, geometry, and trigonometry and higher maths. They were the judicial astrologers who accepted that astrology was predecessor of astronomy and that the transits of the celestial bodies had influences on the life on Earth. According to ancient scholars, astrology is an art of comprehending the humanity and getting in contact with the divinity. In the third chapter of his Tetrabiblos, Gladius Ptolemy states that this discipline brings joy, happiness, and satisfaction, and also helps us as understand the connection between the human and the divine things. The Sicilian astrologer Firmicus Maternus, one of the most important figures of Hellenistic astrology period, suggested that learning and practicing astrology also feeds worshiping the Divine One. In his Metesis, he argued that the heaven was divine and astrology encouraged divine worship. He supposed that the planets were the forces with cause of our experiences on earth. Astrology is predictive in its nature. Medieval astrologer Guido Bonatti says that astrology is the unique science which helps us know and predict the things. According to Bonatti, the wise men thought that they would prevent some negative events to prediction. Or at least, they would be spiritually prepared for such things by reading the astrological signals. 17th century French astrologer Jean-Baptiste Morin stated that the planets were the causes of God's manifestation on earth. He suggested that studying astrology was also studying on cosmos and natural laws. Planets and signs were universal causes. He claimed that forms would be characterized to the essence of planets and signs as stars. Signs and planets carry the forms of the nature to the elemental world to transform into materials. Ancient scholars believe that the people who study and practice astrology should be modest and know their places. Abraham ibn Ezra explains this approach to these words, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. This sentence indicates modesty and a respect to God. We see such a respect in the studies of traditional astrologers. Traditional astrology's basic approach is based on the view that the astrology is an art of prediction. 
And traditional astrology assumes that cosmos is organized by the divine intellect, God. And the seven planets are the manifestation of God on earth and the causes of the changes in the cosmos. It is aware of the freedom of choice, which we may define as partial will. But makes us realize that we made choices which were already made. And the limitations that were determined by a higher mind, that is a total will, God's will. Traditional astrologers focused the connection with the divinity and stated that learning and practicing astrology was nourishment for worshiping to the divine one. Human is already, as a part of cosmos, he is the one with cosmos. This is the essence of hermetic principles. Mystics of hermetic knowledge consider that they are in the unity with all entities. Due to being spiritually purified and enlightened, these mystics reached a consciousness of unity. The belief that the man can approach God to the maturity and competency to part in hermetic philosophy before any other mystic teachings. The man can only develop through knowing himself. Astrology has an indisputable contribution fulfilling the hermetic advice, know yourself. Astrology is a hermetic science or a divine knowledge which helps us to understand operational laws of the sky or the cosmos through the observation through a geocentric view. These are the laws which are also rule us. Through realizing the operating rules of the sky, we reach what is beyond it. My teacher, Robert Zoller, suggests that each principle of the microcosmos and the macrocosmos should be learned in order to make healthy predictions. Traditional astrology teachings also give us a chance to make character analysis as well as modern astrology. It helps us to interpret the native spiritual attributes and his karmic purposes. But it is not limited with these. It sets up the rules for delineation and prediction. It predicts the general course of the life and first divides the life into long periods of time and then divides each part into smaller parts for a better analysis. In practice, it follows an approach from the whole to the part. All analyses we make on each chart reminds us our place in the universe and the perfection of the operating system we are in. What we call as accident in astrology is not just a simple accident, of course, or coincides, but a planned and detailed plan. The word accident here indicates the people and the events that the native meets in his life without his own will. It does not indicate pure luck. Traditional astrology techniques give us the ability to describe the objective reality that the native experiences, to identify his primary motivations and predicts all aspects of his life, including marriage, children, profession, finances, health, family, and spiritual tendencies as well. So when we study on a chart, we gain the ability to describe the objective realities of the native's life and to predict his life events. Before making a prediction, we should first delineate the chart because prediction is impossible without delineation. And prediction is only about the timing of an event. The key of prediction is delineation. The biggest mistake of an astrologer may be predicting something which is not promised by the chart. We should always keep in mind this basic rule of traditional astrology. We experience things we are promised in the chart only. 
two delineation techniques. We determine the native's potentials and his life events, which are accidental ones. Afterwards, we may start predicting when these potentials and life events will take place. Astrological prediction was considered as one of the talents that helps the man achieve wisdom. Astrology is a guiding light that shows us our path, what we may experience. For making accurate predictions, a detailed and skilled study is needed just like any artist does about his work. Making accurate predictions is only possible by combining the techniques and the art together. The predictions made by traditional astrological techniques are very accurate because those techniques make some distinctions which are not present in modern or psychological astrology. In psychological astrology, predictions are not at the forefront. However, it is the backbone of traditional astrology. By using the techniques of traditional astrology, we may make better chart interpretations and more accurate predictions. The techniques in classical traditional astrology are systemized and orderly. They give us certain rules for analyzing the chart and making predictions. In today's modern astrology, some prediction techniques including transits, secondary progressions, solar return chart, solar acts, and other predictive techniques are used. Modern astrologers do not know some of the prediction techniques of traditional astrology that a talented astrologer should know. However, the prediction techniques of traditional astrology may have a great contribution due to its high rate of accuracy. Through learning the techniques of traditional astrology, we may get to the bottom of modern methods and grasp the prediction techniques. We can be easily applied to a solid chart analysis in addition to today's currents and psychological concepts. Traditional knowledge helps us to delve into the origins modern techniques and it also helps us preserve the prediction techniques, which may only be used with detailed analysis of the chart amongst the intensive psychological concepts and the modern currents. I don't think we should only use the traditional techniques and put modern techniques aside. On the contrary, we should make use of traditional texts and use modern techniques on this basic knowledge skillfully. In my book on astrological prediction, I am harmonizing traditional and modern techniques for contemporary astrologers. I presented numerous powerful and ancient techniques for natal charts, focusing on the use of time lords, planets and places which manages one's life in order for various amounts of time. The traditional techniques here include Ptolemy's Ages of Man, Triplicity Lords, Distributions or Directions through the Bonds, Primary Directions, Perfections, and Firdarium. And contemporary techniques include Secondary Progressions, Solar Arcs, and Transits. Of special importance is the use of several techniques together, such as transits to a solar return or in conjunction with Pudaria periods. You can find the book at Amazon or AFEA's website. I am also providing online courses in English on traditional delineation and predictive techniques. You can find information in my website. I am also teaching some of the predictive techniques at Kepler College. In our event in Mexico, I will teach on traditional delineation techniques. One of the different techniques of medieval astrology is to determine and to interpret the personal spiritual entity, which is the guardian angel or Almitan figures with its astrological definition. 
indicating the native's connection with the spiritual world and the conditions which are characterized nature of his guardian angel, Admitam Figuris, signifies his path which leads to spiritual evolution. In Mexico, I will teach how to calculate and find Almutan figures in a chart and make some practices on some of the participants' chart. I will also teach the methods to work on synastry, which is a powerful technique to analyze relationship dynamics and compatibility between two people. I will use the chart of participants to illustrate the contents of my teachings. I am inviting you to an extraordinary event in a paradise resort of Shishim, Mexico, from January 29 to February 5, 2019, where we will come together to share star knowledge and reconnect with the ancestral wisdom of the man. Join this astrology retreat, open your spiritual channel, and spend an amazing time with a unified community. Thanks for watching.